That's right, this week we're talking about FLY, Fly Life Youngsters, Swag Surf. That's right, I can hear everybody on the plots all over the United States groaning in silence. Yes, I'm talking about that song. Your what's poppin' world? I am Mouse Jones, and you are watching what? You're watching Wax Facts. Where? Only on Rock the Bells. Now, I've done this for a few weeks now. I don't know if y'all catching on, but I'm getting under your skin, and it's working. I know. I see the comments. Keep them coming. Make sure you follow, like, comment, subscribe. Right here. Make sure you do all of that. That's right. This week we're talking about FLY, Fly Life Youngsters, Swag Surf. That's right. I can hear everybody on the plots all over the United States groaning in silence. Yes, I'm talking about that song. Now, this song is a staple that cannot be argued. When this song came out in 2009, it hit the HBCU campuses with a vengeance. Putting arm over shoulder, arm over shoulder, all over the country, and everybody leaning from left to right in unison. For what? Tell me, for what? For absolutely nothing. Nothing has changed, okay? This song is stupid, okay? This song is really dumb. Mm. Well, I don't think hip hop really changed before or after this record's inception, but what it has done is it's stuck in the mind of everyone who graduated between the years of 2009 to today. This song is embedded in black culture, okay? If you've been to a HBCU homecoming, a campus, a game, at this point, if you've been to a Black Lives Matter march or rally, you've swag surfed or you've seen it and you probably did not understand what was going on as much as I didn't. But it, it's one of those things where you're around, it grabs you by the throat and you just go on your left and your right. Uh, you're right. They do, they, it's stupid and fast motion, it's stupid and slow motion. I don't wanna see that again, honestly, we could retire. So we're gonna jump from uh, me getting y'all all upset and whatnot, and we're gonna jump into what really matters here. It's the scale, okay? What's the scale? The scale is how I probably rank these albums based on cultural relevance and impact. The Swag Surf is getting a whopping zero. Two of them, double O zero. I, I hate this song, I really do. There's not too many songs I viscerally hate. And, and when I hear Swag Surf, I just, it's like my stomach curls up in a knot. I just want to throw up. I don't understand why y'all like it. I don't understand the chokehold it has over the community, and I want it to cease, okay? Right after we figure out black injustices everywhere and figure out how to stop that, we need to figure out how to stop the swag surf, okay? That's it. Double zero. That's what we're giving the scale. Don't even turn the scale on because it doesn't have to register anything. It doesn't exist to me. Now, if you're upset at home, I understand. Let me know in the comments. But remember, this is just my opinion. Now, if you're really, really mad, like, share, and subscribe. That's the best way to get back at me. Stop listening to the swag surf. Like, just let's stop. Let's surf it on out of here. That way. And I'm going to go this way until I see y'all next week.